Hello and welcome. My name is Victoria Okamaka, your go-to person on matters concerning books, reading and academics. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. If you are new here, welcome to Victoria Quest. To get started, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Having done that, welcome to the family. This is part 3 in Finance Corner with our discussion emanating from the Smart Money Woman by Arise Ugum, the founder of Smart Money Africa. Today we'll be looking at the relationship between women, money and marriage. <laughs> this is a delicate one. By the way, if you want a copy of this book, the hard copy or the ebook, check in the description. There will be a link for you there to get it. There is this notion that women, especially African women, have about marriage and financial freedom. And this has to do with the unique way we see money and marriage, as well as the way the society associates women, money and marriage. This book, The Smart Money Woman, delves into the lives of African women and how they handle finances as well as the way forward and how such glitch can be corrected. The first relationship that these three have, that is women, money and marriage, is which husband equals financial freedom. Which husbands and financial freedom are seen as mutually inclusive by women? The daydream is usually, I'm going to marry a rich husband that can take care of me. You know, women like to be taken care of. They like to carry expensive bags and wear designers, snap pictures with studio quality, and they need phones to do that. They love to cruise in a good car which should be attributed to their husbands and spend money to show off their husband's wealth. It's a thing of pride to be married as well as to be in wealth. Hence, one has to marry a rich husband to take care of those needs, their financial needs. The second relationship between women, money and marriage is anti-debit alert. It's more fun to spend another person's money. You know, have fun and not feel the weight of it. This is true no matter who the other person is, her friend, her brother, her parents, her husband, anybody. It is just more fun when women get those designers and whatnot and the debit alert is not from their bank account. The third relationship between women, money and marriage is accessibility to husbands it is harder to find your husband when you are rich men tend to feel intimidated by a successful woman this is most of the time frustrating for women and it comes to be like financial independence is a plague for this reason hard-working and successful single women tend to sometimes downplay their wealth in order to make husbands accessible to them or rather make themselves accessible to husbands the belief is that a wealthy single woman will make a man insecure and hence decrease her chances of finding a husband. Fourth relationship between women, money and marriage is financial freedom equals freedom from men. There is this cliche sometimes discussed in social media that you might be familiar with. It says, when a man makes money, he realizes that he needs a woman. But when a woman makes money, she realizes that she needs no man. Personally, I like to blame it on a feminist misconception which matches financial freedom with freedom from men's dominance. But that is a story for another day. You see, there has to be money for a woman to need a man. Each of the major characters in the Smart Money Woman displayed one or more of these traits one way or the other. A lot of things have been changing and women have started to break through. In one of our Smart Money lessons, Iris has said that there's a lot of fear surrounding the way African women feel about money and the subsequent consequences of our relationship with money. When it comes to money in relation to our families, our businesses, our friends and society, many African women worry about not having enough to survive, not enough to measure up to the lifestyle of our friends and family, the fear of failing in business, the fear of not being able to afford the lifestyle one has become accustomed to then losing it all and becoming dependent on others. Ultimately, how we behave with money is deeply rooted in how we think about money. And fear can be a very crippling thing. It can stifle you and stop you from taking action to achieve your goal, but we must realize that fear is just an emotion. It is worrying about something that has the possibility to occur in the future. Unfortunately, this fear can be paralyzing. So sometimes, instead of confronting and facing those fears, we hide from them and avoid them. However, confronting our fears is always the right step towards conquering them. Shortly, I'm going to share 5 reasons why you should make your own money as a woman or wife. But before that, take this time to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, it's absolutely free and it encourages me to make better content. If you have done that, then let's move on. Here are 5 reasons 
why you should be making your own money as a woman or a wife. Number one is dependency is more expensive. It's exhausting to have to always ask for money before you can buy that hair you love. Wouldn't it be more wonderful to be able to spoil yourself sometimes without asking or being told that there's no money at the moment? Independent people are always capable of making their own decisions. Another side of this dependency being expensive is that you have to tolerate a lot of things. No one should be able to tolerate domestic violence or abuse because they are financially dependent on their partners. Therefore, it is extremely important that every woman becomes financially independent so that they never have to feel helpless in life. Two. Try out freedom. Many women from conservative backgrounds with dreams and aspirations depend on their partners for their fulfillment. Being financially independent will enable you to self-sufficiently fulfill your wishes, enhance your skill sets, go for a trip with friends, or even buy things that you want and so on. It gives you an edge in trying out various things like new recipes, new fashion trends, new businesses, etc. because you do not have to ask anyone to finance it. 3. Role modeling. A financially free woman carries a kind of air and grace that a non-financially free woman does not carry. She commands respect and has self-confidence. A woman who can support the needs of the family financially, socially, emotionally and so on is a role model for her children. The way she handles things shows them that gender bias is created by society and doesn't mean anything when a woman is strong, confident and sure of herself. The children learn from what they see. If a girl child sees that her mother is financially independent, she will understand the value of money and be inspired to be self-sufficient in life when she grows up. 4. Men like to be spoiled too. The same way you like to be surprised, showered with gifts, men like that too. Would you prefer asking for money to getting gifts? <laughs> like... Seriously? Seriously? They may not say it, but they like it when women do things for them. 5. Support is king. Things are not always smooth in the family and it would be lovely to support your spouse when his business is not going so well. Believe me, he will appreciate it and love you more. Financially independent women can not only contribute to the everyday expenses of the household but also help to meet the family's financial goals. Every family needs to be prepared for contingencies. Layoffs are frequent. Jobs are not super secure and neither is life. If the husband is the sole bread earner with the family and kids being dependent on him, then there is a reason to worry for the family. In addition to that, everyone should be goal oriented whether male or female, and it's highly unwise to depend on another individual's pocket to finance your goals. Every man will appreciate and value a woman who brings intellectual and financial support. Have you come to the end of this video? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, because why not? It's absolutely free. If you want a copy of this book, the hard copy or the soft copy, there's a link for you down there for you to get it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment on your thoughts on this video. I'll be sure to reply all of them. Still me, Victoria Okamaka, your go-to personal matters concerning books, reading and academics. Keep watching! <laughs>